So humans are going to Mars. Mars. We can't send people to Mars just yet, but NASA is getting in some practice. Getting to Mars. As far as this colony idea. Here's why it's not going to happen. Is it dangerous? Yes. Will people get hurt? They'll probably die. 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 Die on Mars. <laughs> Solar storms are bad. Meteorites, cosmic rays, weightlessness, glare, disorientation. Can we survive in space? How about Mars? Can we get to Mars? Is there life on Mars? Mars is where the science is, it's where the challenge is, and it's where the future is. So here's the thing about Mars. Going to Mars is hard. High levels of radiation on Mars. Mars is extremely dangerous. Could you even survive a trip to Mars? There's a million things that can go wrong. You just can't get to zero risk. How exactly are we going to make this work on Mars? And do we really need to send humans to Mars? Radiation. Right now, it's the biggest challenge we'll have to overcome on our journey to Mars. Earth's magnetic field protects us from cosmic radiation. But once we travel beyond that threshold, all bits are off. A round trip mission to Mars will take up to three years. So that could mean up to three years of constant exposure to space radiation. This level of exposure creates potential long-term health risks. DNA damage. Decreased cognitive ability. Long-term cardiovascular health problems. And even the possibility of developing certain kinds of cancers years after returning home. But we're working to minimize these risks. Today, aboard the International Space Station, we're using new sensors to improve our knowledge of cosmic radiation. And back on Earth, we're working on ways to optimize shielding for future spacecraft. We're going to Mars. It won't be easy, but because of the research we're doing today, on the ground and aboard the International Space Station, we'll be ready.